So welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing a tour and a walkthrough of Hotel Cordial, which is a hotel in Mogan, which is in Gran Canaria and it's in the southern part of the island. So this is Cordial Mogan Player, and here is the hotel from the outside. The reason I'm making this video is to give you an idea of what to expect if you do plan on visiting this hotel. So I'll leave you to kind of make your own mind up based on what you see, but I'll try and show you as much as I can for this hotel. And I have to say there's quite a lot to this hotel. There's so many different parts to it. I've done my best to cover everything. So let's start with the inside and in the lobby area. So let's have a look here. And you can just see how beautiful this decoration is. This lobby area, the design of it is like magnificent. It's so large in size and then it extends down to the restaurant area. All of these plants and trees here are, are natural. And uh, I was very impressed. Uh, my first impression walking in and seeing the lobby area, I was definitely impressed and it kind of set the tone for the rest of the stay here at the hotel. Reception has its own bar area and uh, there's like a dome at the top which is nice with stained glass and then a fountain and lots of nice chairs and artwork around reception area. The reception check-in process was smooth, they gave welcome drinks on arrival and then we headed to the hotel room. So the way the accommodation worked in this hotel was it was in different blocks. So we were in the seventh block. Each block was kind of color coded. So it was quite easy to find your way around. But let's get on to the room tour. So this is the room that I was staying in. I really like this kind of traditional Canarian theme that they were going with. Uh, I really liked this style for the room. It really fitted with the theme of the hotel. It wasn't too modern. It was nice and traditional. I really loved the artwork which was on the wall as well. Um, this was the desk area which the TV was positioned on. And that was the drawers space. Here we have the mini fridge. And they did provide complimentary water. It wasn't in the fridge, but they had it kind of around the room for you. And the room itself was tiled, which I thought looked quite nice. And they also left like an invitation on the coffee table. So this was like an invitation to attend for like a cocktail evening. So that was pretty cool that they kind of do that with the, with the guests. And here was some more complimentary water. These were the armchairs, which were quite comfortable and they fitted in with the theme of the, of the room quite well. And uh, here are the side tables. So there was plenty of drawer space here and there were plugs and light switches on the side of the bed. And on the other side, uh, this is where the drinks and the kettle and everything was. So they gave plenty of coffee, teas, some chocolate there and sugar and milk as well.
And yeah, a large mirror there as well. And this is like the hallway area. There was a large mirror here too, like a full length mirror. And here is the AC system. Uh, something to note for the AC is it doesn't work if the patio door or the window is open because there's a sensor there. So make sure that's closed before turning the AC on. Uh, that's the vents there for the AC. And back in the hallway on the other side of the mirror, there is a closet. So in the closet, there's extra blankets at the top. There are hangers and a safe there. And I think there was like a built-in safe here, which had the door missing. I think it must have been one of the old safes they used to have. And plenty of drawer space as well here. Maybe space for shoes at the bottom. On the other side, there was more hangers and some spare pillows at the top. So let's move on to the bathroom now. So here is the bathroom. Soap and lotions, shower caps. I thought this was some kind of like aftershave, but it was actually like a nail file. And uh, a lovely shower place here. Attached to a bath, of course. And here is the view from the balcony, just looking out to the garden area. And now let's move on to breakfast. So this was the breakfast hall. So it was located kind of in the basement area. And I have to say, this breakfast was the best selection I've ever seen in a hotel and the widest selection I've ever seen. So. This is the seating areas which were there. They also had a cool robot which was delivering cutlery around. But I'll let you have a look at everything included in the breakfast buffet.
So leave a comment and let me know what you think of the breakfast here at this hotel. I think personally it's one of the, the best breakfasts I've seen in a hotel. But leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, we're going to move on to the evening meals that you could get here at the hotel. So it was in the same uh, restaurant area. Let's have a look at the evening meal.
So that's the evening meal done. Now we're going to move on to the restaurant which was in the hotel as well. Now I believe this is a Michelin star restaurant and I didn't want to film too much because there were like people eating inside and I didn't want to go in with my camera. I tried to get a few shots for you guys but that's the awards that the restaurant has received and here it is from the inside. I believe there's a very nice terrace as well so something to look into as well. Now let's look at the pools that the hotel has. This is the first pool that we're going to look at. This pool is in the more quiet area of the hotel. So there weren't as many kids kind of playing around here. People were sunbathing and well, it's the more relaxing side of the hotel. The pool I have to say was massive. So there's plenty of space for many people to be swimming and just swimming around and doing lengths if you wanted to do that. And there's also a hot tub there too. So this pool area had its own pool bar too. So, so here you could get drinks, snacks and food. So this was the pool bar area. And now moving on, we're walking to the second pool area. It was about a 10 minute walk from where that first pool was. So here is the second pool area. Again, it's massive as well. So plenty of space to be swimming plenty of space for people and there's also plenty of sun loungers around as well. So this area was more for kids and families. It was a little bit more noisier here whereas the other pool I showed you before was the quiet pool. There were more kids here, there was also a kids pool and there was like a kids play area just nearby. Um, they also had a jacuzzi here too. And also a pool bar here as well. So here you could get drinks and snacks and food. And there was also like a restaurant here too. In fact, if you wanted to have breakfast here instead of in the main hall, they were serving pretty much the same breakfast here as well. So you wouldn't have to walk too far to get to the main restaurant if that was your preference. And now we're moving on to the gym. So here is the gym of the hotel. So as you can see, there's plenty of equipment, plenty of cardio machines, treadmills, bikes, and they have a decent selection of weight machines as well. And for a hotel, I think this gym is a decent size and it has everything you need during your stay. Now we're going to look at the spa of the hotel. So here is the entrance to the spa and this is the waiting area. Here are some of the treatment rooms where you can get massages and facials. And then this is into the main spa area. So there's quite a large indoor pool here. And they have some lounges and then we have the sauna and the steam room here. And then moving on outside, there's some outdoor sun lounges and a few different pools. That's a foot kind of spa there and they have a jacuzzi and then a hydro pool there as well.
and they have a kind of shower area where they have like bucket showers where you pull uh, the bucket and you get plunged with cold water and yeah this is the this is the spa Now we're going to look at the general facilities of the hotel. Now I mentioned at the start of the video there's a lot to this hotel. This is the bar area which is in the lobby or reception area. And in the basement kind of near where the restaurant is they have their own disco or club. So this is the club slash disco which has its own bar as well. And interestingly this hotel also has its own library. So they have computers here to use too, but they have their own library with a variety of books in different languages like English, Spanish and German. I think also Norwegian and Finnish as well. And the hotel's quite secure, so to get to the accommodation area you, ne you need to kind of swipe your card to get through. And I took some videos just walking around the hotel because they have a lot of nice garden areas, plants and trees. So it's a very nice kind of scenic walk around the hotel. And the hotel has its own doctor, which at the moment is currently open for about half an hour every day during weekdays. But you can also contact the doctor if you want to make an appointment outside of those hours. They have an area where if you want to play chess, they have a real life kind of chess board. Uh, you can play table tennis and the hotel also has its own church. So this is the church. Now they have like a diving center or like a scuba diving center. I'm not sure exactly, but if you wanted to rent equipment or have some courses here, they have that available. And also an area if you want to rent bikes. So this is the current prices and these are the bikes that are available. Now the hotel and resort was kind of built on a burial ground so one of the kind of features of the hotel is you can take a tour around the burial site. And it's quite large in size so it can make for a nice afternoon to just walk around and explore and see what's around. You would need to have some good shoes in order to walk around here but I, I try to take a few videos to show you what you may expect. You may be able to see some of the skeletons from various burial sites like here. And now the hotel has one tennis court, which you can see here. This is just next to the second pool area. Now we're going to look at the facilities for children. So the hotel has quite a lot of facilities for kids. So here is the play area, which is just next to the second pool of the hotel. They have a life-size chessboard. They also have a place for table tennis, a kid's pool as well. And they have like a games room with a variety of arcade machines. 
and they have more table tennis and air hockey and also a foosball table And now this is the kind of kids club which they have. So I took a video to show you the timetable. Every day they have something for the kids to do. And this is what it looks like from the inside. They also have their own bowling alley, which I thought was really cool. I've never seen a hotel which has something like this. And they provide bowling shoes as well. They also here have a pool table, a darts board, and they have an area for trampolining as well. Now moving on to the next part of the video, the hotel do tours and they do them quite regularly. So Thursday, Friday and Saturday are tours. They do one of the hotel, the archaeological um, burial site and also a botanical tour. I managed to catch a bit of the botanical tour. Hey, the next one, So on the way to my hotel room I noticed there was like a bird cage here and this area here it was actually where my balcony of my room was facing so there was like a cactus garden here so I thought I'd take a video around here to show you guys. Okay, so we're back in the lobby area, so I just thought I'd show you a few shots around the lobby. So what you can see down there is the area for eating breakfast and dinner.
and they had a gift shop so they had an area where you could buy jewelry uh, and just a variety of different gifts and like stuff that you may have forgot you can buy here as well like sun cream and uh, like a few things like that And now here is the outside of the hotel, so Cordial Morgan Player is the name of the hotel. And here is the outside appearance of the hotel. I also thought it would be cool to show you what's around the hotel. So there's quite a few shops and restaurants around, so just opposite the hotel you can see there's like a little bit of a shopping strip or a shopping mall. So you can see just there, there's like a bar. Yeah, and uh, a few different shops here, like a pharmacy, a phone shop, clothes shop, and more bars and restaurants. And there's also like a supermarket just here as well. I thought I'd also show you the walk to Playa Mogan. So uh, Playa Mogan is about maybe a 15 minute walk away from the hotel. So here is that walk down to Playa Mogan. And now we're pretty much at the end of the video now. So let me know your thoughts about this hotel. And if you have any questions, I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I thought the hotel experience was fantastic. Like I said before, I've never been to a hotel which has so many facilities and um, I have really nothing bad to say about the hotel. I really enjoyed my experience and I'm sure you will too. Um, so any, any questions or anything, leave them in the comment section below and thank you very much for watching.